Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn about UiPath Orchestrator. And I am going to show you the latest UiPath Orchestrator and help you to understand the concepts around Orchestrator pretty well. So this is the introduction class. So let's see what are the important areas as a beginner to Orchestrator we have to learn or we have to know about. So let's get started. So why delay? Let's begin our introductory class. Now UiPath Orchestrator. So UiPath Orchestrator provides a management capability. So what is that? You have seen UiPath Studio, Studio Web, which are used to build automation. These are the tools from UiPath used to build automation. Similar way to manage automations, we have different tools like UiPath Orchestrator, Test Manager. So in this class, we are more focused on this specific product, which is UiPath Orchestrator used for managing. Now, what exactly do you manage? There are a lot of questions that comes. Then they have something called Engage. For example, UiPath Assistant, UiPath Apps. You know, there is something called Discovery Tools, for example. So these are different tools on different categories. To build automations, you are using Studio or Studio Web. Uh, there are other specific tools which also comes at a build. Manage UiPath Orchestrator, Engage UiPath Assistant, UiPath Apps. Discover, there are, there are tools or products process mining, task mining, and things like that. Okay, so here we are interested around UiPath Orchestrator. So what is the definition of it? UiPath Orchestrator provides management capabilities. So this word is important. It provides management capabilities for UiPath automations and robots. So what is that management capability means? For example, you can put that into various category. For example, provision, deploying the automations. Provision means creating a new account, adding people, adding machines, right? Scheduling or trigger, monitoring the robots, monitoring the automations, measuring how it, they are performing, right? And tracking them. So all these capabilities, more than this, are available with UiPath Orchestrator. So the main aim is to manage your automations. Now let us understand each of this slightly in detail. Now the very first thing we have seen provision. Provision means, let's say I have a couple of machines where my automation is supposed to run. Or it could be attended automations. The user would click and run the automation. Or sometimes you would like to have some machines where the automation would run without any human user attending it or logging in into that machine. You know, anytime as you schedule, the automation can run. These are called unattended machines. Provision means you provide access to orchestrator. They are connected. They have been given license. Things like that would come under provisioning. There are a lot to it. We would see slowly as we proceed. So one of the work being done is provisioning machines. The second work is deploy. For example, I have built an automation on UiPath Studio. Then I can publish it that to UiPath Orchestrator. While you publish, your automation project get deployed or get pushed to the UiPath Orchestrator in NuGet package dot NuPKG. There's a format of a file. Through you know, in that format, the file gets uploaded to UiPath Orchestrator, what we generally call deploy. The term is deploy. And from here, you deploy it to the machine where it's supposed to run. It might be on a user machine for attended scenario. It might be on a robot machine for a unattended scenario. So that is called deployment. So provisioning you have seen, deployment, you know, deployment you have seen. All this thing can be done on UiPath Orchestrator. What is the third thing? The third thing is trigger. Trigger means scheduling. Let's say I would like to schedule an automation to run every day at 10 a.m. on a given machine. Or let's say I would like to run an automation every Saturday at 11 p.m. in the night on a machine too. So these are called trigger. That means using UiPath Orchestrator, you also have capability of scheduling or setting up triggers. Getting it? Similar way, there are also a couple of more capabilities. For example, monitor, measure, and track. So you can monitor the jobs, monitor your queue, monitor your robots, monitor right how the entire automation framework 
all the automated so you can imagine on a company there could be multiple automations running at the same time on different different machines so there is a uipath orchestrator is a place on which you can do all of these things quite easily so you can simply sit and monitor you have seen in the security rooms right they have got multiple cameras around the building but do they need to walk in every time and see things what is happening in at what corner there are cameras fed you sit at one place and monitor the videos coming from different cameras more like that you know you can for understanding purpose similar way you can monitor your robots you can monitor your jobs that are running you can monitor logs what happened why it failed what uh, how is it successful right lot of things can be done which we will learn in the ui path orchestrator chapter so this one we have seen there are also a couple of more capabilities for example the storage capabilities distribution capability i can store a project i can store a large file excel file input files for my automation i can store credential assets projects and then deploy them to different machines so a lot of things can be done so it also acts like a storage and distribution solution right so uipath orchestrator at the end it is a management tool you can manage lot many things that we have seen over the slides can be done using uipath orchestrator